Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here then welcome. My name is Heather and on this channel we like to walk a very fine line between a shopping addicted makeup monster and a responsible adult with a makeup hobby. Now I really enjoy eyeshadow, singles, duochromes, multichromes, blush, highlight, lip gloss. Honestly after this video literally everything <laughs> and today we are going to be doing a collective haul and if that sounds like something you're interested in stick with me we're getting into it right now. I picked up so many freaking things my whole like thought process was I'm gonna like slow down what I'm buying while I'm moving and then everybody put everything on sale and I lost my damn mind so I decided to go through by like category of makeup because I think that'll be a little bit easier to see um, rather than by like each individual purchase um, because I may have purchased multiple different categories of products in an order obviously um, and so I think that's how I'm gonna do it let me start with primers, foundations, concealers. Uh, as like a free gift with purchase, this Peach and Lily body scrub. Um, so this is like a sample size. It's a little over one ounce, so I'll be giving that a try, but I have no idea if it's any good. I just happened to pick up a primer, which I'll show you in just a second, and this came free. So then the two primers I picked up, this was from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. So as you can see, I've been in the process of moving for quite some time now. <laughs> um, but this is the Glass Skin Refining Serum, which I've been told is actually a really nice product so I wanted to give it a try and being half off it made it much more affordable so I went ahead and picked that up. I also wanted to try the Ultra Glow Face Primer from Urban Decay so I picked that one up as well during 21 Days of Beauty so it was half price. So in that same vein I also picked up the Urban Decay Ultra Glow Setting Spray as well because I wanted to give that one a try and I did also pick up this I did also pick up this Revolution Pro Protect. It's like an SPF setting spray. I'm a little irritated by the packaging already because this cap like falls off so easily. It actually leaked on its way to me and um, the place that I ordered it from refunded me about half the price of the product um, because they couldn't send me another one. So <sighs> just frustrating. I don't think I would repurchase based on that alone but I haven't actually tried the product yet so I can't say for sure if it's a good product. And then foundations. So at one point I was in at Ulta um, and they had this foundation on clearance which was a foundation I had wanted to try for a while. It's like a serum foundation from them um, and they had it on clearance so I was like well now's a good time to try it. Um, I'm not one to like typically repurchase a lot of foundations over and over again. I don't wear it on a daily basis because with work I'm still wearing a mask so I don't care that it may not ever come back in stock and I did pick up mine up in fair to light cool because that tends to be my undertone so we'll give that one a try. I also picked up another um, one of these Becca, what is this, the, what are you called? Oh, I'm sorry, the Be Becca Light Shifter Dewing Tint. It's like their luminous skin tint. Um, I had originally picked up the shade 2, which was a little dark, and now that I've tried the 1, I think that one was also separated. So I think I need to mix that one up a little bit more before I use it again, and I think that will give me a better... Um, end result but I did really enjoy using shade number one and then I did also pick up the Conceal and Glow from Revolution because this was also on sale um, and I picked it up in the shade F4 so we'll see if that's a good match I'm terrible at matching my shade range I use the foundation matrix a lot and then just hope for the best so we'll give this one a try at some point as well if you see some products in this that you really would like to see like a video on um, definitely let me know because I would love to do like a video of trying a bunch of new makeup all at once so um, definitely let me know with that I did also pick up um, a couple of concealers, so let's talk about those next. I picked up the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So I was having this goal of doing only um, cruelty-free brands on my channel, but I feel like the lines are becoming so blurry now with who's cruelty-free and who's not. And a lot of the legislation going on in China right now about whether or not they're going to truly like continue to require testing is very blurry. So I just feel like, you know what, I'm going to just buy what I'd like to buy. I'd prefer to buy from things that are cruelty free but even if people say they're cruelty free I can't be so sure. So I did want to pick this one up because I've heard a lot of good things about it so I just picked up a mini to try that one out. And then to go with that um, Revolution 
glowing conceal foundation. I picked up a concealer that went with that one and it is a crease proof concealer. It was on clearance obviously for $1.20 so it was like $1.20 to try a concealer out. I would definitely be down to try that. And then the last one I picked up is the Ordinary Full Coverage um, Concealer. This one I really like because I feel like it's a good... Um, it's a good price point. I mean, it's like five bucks. So I want to be able to try it and see if I like it with the foundation that they have because their um, high spreadability primer and their foundation are both really nice. I picked up three Morphe brushes at Marshall's because they had them on sale for like just two, three dollars a piece. One is like a small smudge brush. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, there you go. So one's a small smudge brush. One's a very small fan brush, which I thought would be great for like brow bone. And then one's just a little like flat packer brush type thing, um, which I thought would be nice for just putting on eyeshadow or inner corner. So, um, you know, pretty inexpensive. That's what I think Morphe products should be. I did also pick up another one of these Morphe Eye Obsessed kits. Um, I had kind of liked the idea of the like collection of brushes that James Charles had in his thing, but like I cannot in my life support that guy. So um, I ended up seeing this one at Ulta yesterday. They had a 20% off coupon. It's literally only one less brush and it was about $10 less expensive. Excuse me. It's about $10. Listen, Linda's. It was about $10 less expensive than the James Charles one, which is even already like 40% off. So um, that shows you what kind of markup he's getting. I picked this one up. I'm really excited to give these a try. This little tiny brush right here is like one of my favorite for putting like inner corner and like shimmers onto my lids. So I tend to pick up these sets that have this type of brush in it for that reason. So we'll give that one a try. It was 20% off. And then I picked up this um, Makeup Revolution XX Revolution concealer brush, which I picked up because it looked like the Rare Beauty concealer brush that everybody's really excited about. Um, but this one was only like seven bucks, so I picked this one up. We'll see how it goes. But this Precision Brow um, brush to go with the Elf brow palette that I picked up, which I'll show you in just a little bit. Um, and I haven't gotten a chance to try it yet, but I thought it looked really enticing, so definitely wanted to pick that one up. And then a free gift with purchase. They just threw this into my, I think it's like a little blush brush or like a little powder brush. So that they threw in. Um, I ordered some stuff from the ColourPop Y2K collection and they sent me like all the wrong stuff. So I did not actually order these, but I ended up keeping them because they send them to me and they're like, oh, we screwed up, which is like, who was even shocked anymore, you know? So I got those. I got this cute little brush washer when I was on vacation. I ended up getting one for my aunt, which was a watermelon, and I kept the pineapple one. Um, but they just look super cute. I think I found them at Dollar Tree. And just picked this up so that I have something else to wash my brushes with. Picking stuff up for myself and my aunt. I've been looking at this Tarte palette for... I've been looking at this Tarte palette for literal ages. It's been around for like two years. It's one of those where you can like swipe up the colors. Like, oh, I'm obsessed with that. But anyway, um, palettes originally I think like 20 bucks or so, which I think is kind of expensive. They hold about 16 like JD Glow sized shadows or they hold, um, I forget how many they hold of like standard 26 millimeters. But anyway, I really wanted to pick this one up. It was just too expensive. They've been vacillating their sale prices and then eventually they put it on sale for like 30% off plus there was free shipping and I had like some other 15% off coupon or whatever so I ended up getting a really good deal on this so I went ahead and finally picked that up. And I picked up one more set of these crease brushes from Sephora. So these went out of stock. They were $20 and I was waiting to pick them up on the Sephora sale and they went out of stock before the sale, which sucked. Um, and I found a set, obviously unused, on Mercari for 20 bucks. And so I picked that one up from um, another beauty lover. So I'm really excited to have another set of these because I just think they are super nice brushes. Okay, what next? Let's do face stuff next. Why not? So... Listen, this, the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty and Sephora sales, like, they got me. They got me good. So, let's start. 
Well, let's start with this. When I went and did my e.l.f. order, I did pick up this Electric Mood palette. I had been really wanting to pick this one up. I think I mentioned it in a purchaser pass, assuming that video ever got posted. Um, I really wanted to pick this one up. I've tried it a couple times. This highlight is really nice for me, um, and I do like the blushes in here. So definitely happy that I picked this one up. I cannot wait to keep playing with it. And then from Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, I picked up two more of these Nabla Skin Glazing Blushes. I really like these. These are This is Lola. This is Independence. I think these are such a beautiful formula. Like, it's like a baked formula. And they look so pretty on the skin. So I'm really excited to have two more of these in my collection. I did, with some Ulta points, pick up this NARS palette. Which, this is their Basic Instinct 1, I think. Yeah, Basic Instinct 1. And it does have Orgasm. I think this is like Orgasm X. And then I forget Bear and something else. Um, but the shades looked really pretty. I've been playing with these a little bit. This one's kind of like... I don't know. I mean, maybe it's just me, but it looks like really faint to me. I know the lights are kind of washing that out, but you can kind of see it there. Like you can see it, but it's not like super impactful. And I had picked up this Beauty Bay blush, which was supposed to be a dupe for the orgasm. But this one is, first of all, it's shattered. So I had to repress it. And this one is like hella, hella pigmented. So even just a little tiny, like dip in and it's already like Bam, you know, so this is definitely a much louder cousin to the, the NARS orgasm, but did pick up both of those. With that Beauty Bay blush, I also picked up one of their bronzers. Um, I had picked up a palette, which I'll show you here in a little while, and when I did that, I was like so close to free shipping, and everything that I was looking at was like 20-30% off, so I figured I'd just pick up the bronzer too and give it a try. I've been on like a real bronzer kick lately. So that's what this one looks like. I've used it once. It is a really nice formula. And it's got just like a little bit of sheen to it. I won't swatch everything or we'll be here all day. But it does have a little bit of sheen to it, which I really like. I left it in the packaging since the blush shattered. I didn't want the bronzer to shatter too. So that one stayed in the packaging until just now. All right. I also picked up this LMR palette from the... Boxy Charm sale that they had. I've been eyeing this one for ages and they put it on sale. I think it was like six dollars or something, nine dollars maybe. It was really, really cheap. And since I had wanted it, I was thinking about paying full price for it, but I didn't really want to pay full price for it. Then it went on sale and I was like, you have to get it. You just do. And in that same sale, I also picked up the Wonder Beauty. This is the Nude Glow and Petal Pink Blush and Highlighter Duo. So there's the highlighter shade, which is like so pretty. And then the blush shade is twisted down, so it's not spreading out evenly. There we go. There's the, there's the blush shade. It's like a really nice, like, kind of bright pink. Very pretty. And then I picked up one of the Persona bronzers as well, because I just thought that would kind of round everything out. And I wanted to have, like, a stick formula of each face product so picked all those up I think they were like six to nine dollars a piece which is really affordable um, compared especially to their original prices I think this one originally is forty two dollars just by itself so that was a good deal I ran across a clearance one of these Becca face palettes at Marshall's it's the Sunsetter palette this was like the last thing they released right before they announced they were closing and this one was completely untouched. I have since touched it, so it does not look untouched now. But it was untouched at the time, and it was on clearance because it didn't have its outer box, which I was like, who cares? And so I ended up getting this for like, I think 10 bucks, something like that. So I was really happy with that. It's got this really gorgeous like highlight shade. Oh my goodness. And bronzer these blushes. Like everything in here is just so pretty. So I was really happy to have that you swatched the right color there you go you can kind of see I was definitely really happy to have found that one and then I did also pick up the Venetian Rose color drop serum blush from M Cosmetics this was also part of the boxy charm sale it was marked down to nine dollars I think originally from like 36 or something like that so definitely a good steal on that I've been wanting to try this since my ipsy days which was back in like 
I don't know, 2016, something like that. They released these shortly after I started Ipsy, and I've wanted to try them so badly. So I was super excited to find that one on sale. I picked up a couple more of these baked blushes from Milani because I cannot be stopped. The Rose Doro blush is like one of my favorites, so I just wanted to pick up some more. This is from their like summer fruits collection. This is the cherry on top shade. And then I picked up Berry Amour and Bellissimo Bronze. And I just think all three of these are so, so pretty. So definitely pick those up. That was during... Um, one of the sales at Ulta and then the cherry on top I picked up at Walgreens. I did find a Becca bronzer untouched at uh, Marshalls as well. This is in Bali Sands so I picked that one up to give it a try. It's definitely a lighter bronzer for me um, than some of these other shades but I think especially in the winter time that's going to be a good shade for me because I am pretty ghostly most of the year so I was definitely happy to pick that one up. I also during my e.l.f. um purchase that I did my order I picked up the bite size face duo in coconut so I could get the bronzer to try I think this is actually going to be a pretty deep bronzer so I don't know if that's going to work for me but I did pick it up because I wanted to give it a try so Nomad Cosmetics was putting their around the world blushes on clearance and they did have a palette with these in it which was on clearance first and I missed the palette but when these went on clearance they were like a dollar or two a piece so I picked these up and I think shipped I paid less than ten dollars um, and my first set arrived shattered but they were so nice as to package up a new set and send out to me so um, we have this Ponisano Sunrise which is like a blushy shade and then the Kofa Nguan Moonlight shade which is like an iridescent purple let me see if I can swatch these quick for you That's Pontesano. It's a very like luminous blush, very pretty. And then this other shade. You can see it's got this really pretty kind of blue to it, which is awesome because I don't have anything that's like a cool toned iridescent blue. So I am super happy to pick these up as well. The e.l.f. order, I did also get this for free. This was a blush and bronzer. You can see the bronzer came shattered completely, so I repressed it. This was, like, only the second time I've ever repressed something, so it, like, took a beating to get repressed. But I do think that the shades are very pretty. I actually used to have this exact palette in my collection. This is the Fiji palette, and I decluttered it because I was like, I never use it. And then I kind of felt sad that I had decluttered it, so it's kind of interesting that it made it back into my collection. With my Beauty Bay order, I did also pick up the Ofra Start Inspired Highlight. No, I'm sorry. This is the Dream Chaser Highlight from Samantha March. Where am I going to do this? It's right there. I love Ofra's formula. I'm not a fan of the way that they behave on the end. <sighs> sorry, my camera cut me off. Um, I picked this up shortly before all of that shenanigans came out and um, then never got to say anything about it because they are just doing whatever they do. During the Sephora sale, I picked up the Kaja Bento Play palette, which is like this cute little blush palette, and this was a Samantha March recommendation. So you've got this really pretty blush. Oh my goodness. There we go. Got a really nice highlighter there, and then you have a cream bronzer. So I was really excited to get that and play with it, especially for travel. I think this is going to be so perfect. So I was so, so excited to pick that one up. And then, you guys, I literally just went to Ulta like two days ago, knowing I have all this stuff to film, and I could not talk myself out of this palette for the highlighter. I was watching Crystal Lynn, and she's like, oh yeah, this highlighter, like I bought this for the highlighter, and I'm like, girl, how do you buy something just for the highlighter like that? Like, that's nuts. And then I went and swatched the highlighter. And I was like, oh, okay, I got it, I get it, perfect. And then I knew I was going to need the highlighter too, and I purchased it. 
So if you missed out on the Becca Parisian Lights highlighter, which was a limited edition highlighter from like four years ago, I would say this is a pretty close dupe. It's a little bit more pigmented, but if you go in with a light hand, like sheer it out, you're going to get that same like pink to gold dual chrome shift like you have in that Becca Parisian Lights highlighter. So just something to keep in mind if you missed that one or were running low on that one panning it and needed a replacement. That's why I did also pick up some stuff from Jaclyn Cosmetics. <sighs> you guys, I fell for the hype. I don't know. The powder is super soft, and I do think it's a really beautiful highlight. Like, you can see it right there. It's so gorgeous. So I'm excited to give it a try on my face. I also, I picked up one of each of her formulas to try out. I picked up the Loose Highlighter, which is in this, like, champagne -y light shade. It's called Extra. And then I also picked up the setting powder, which is called Do Me. This packaging is ridiculous. Um, but I picked up the setting powder in the shade Do Me. So I'm going to give all those a try and see if they are worth the hype. I got them when they were 50% off because I was not going to pay full price for that. And then another Samantha March made me buy it is the Dior Backstage Powder. And I got the shade 2N. I don't, this looks a little dark though. I'm hoping it's going to be a good match for me. Um, but I did, this is the only, I think the second thing maybe I have from Dior. I think I have a lipstick. Um, but this is like the only face product I've ever gotten from Dior. So I'm kind of excited to give it a try. And she, you know, is constantly saying like how it blurs everything, your imperfections and everything. So I'm very hopeful. Very, very hopeful. Wait. Oh, no, ma'am. No, no, no. Okay, you guys, crisis averted. So I called the Sephora team and explained to them what happened with my powder. They offered me either a replacement or a refund, and I went ahead and picked up the refund since I am going to be... Um, taking a while to get through my powders. I don't necessarily need two at once um, and that will allow me to pick up some other stuff that is going to be coming up during their VIB sale in November. So crisis averted. <laughs> I did pick up a couple of pairs of nails from Walgreens and then also from Walmart. This is the pair that I picked up from Walmart. They're all like these little kiss nails. I think they're super cute. I love how like kind of like fall Halloween-y they are. So definitely excited to be giving those a try. I picked up one thing um, that was hair care related and that was the Way and Byredo collab Mojave Ghost uh, leave-in conditioner. So I picked that up. I'm very excited to be giving this a try. I picked up two fragrances and oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the Black Opium from YSL and this is the Black Opium Neon. So it's like a more intense version of the spray. It smells so good. It's got this like sweet, kind of fruity, kind of marshmallowy kind of flavor that really reminds me a lot of Killian Love Don't Be Shy. So if you like the idea of that perfume but you don't like the price of it, maybe consider trying this one instead because it is not an exact fragrance dupe but it is actually pretty close so um, I've really been enjoying that one. And then I picked this up from the Sephora sale, um, the friends and family sale. This is the KLE and it is a duo in um, invite only and deja vu. So I am so excited to be giving this a try because I wanted to try invite only but it was out of stock in all the other varieties and then this showed up on the site like right before I was going to place my order. So I went ahead and picked that one up too. Alright, let's talk lips and then we'll get into all the eye goodies. So I have one eye pencil that I picked up, or one eye pencil, good lord, lip pencil that I picked up. This is from LA Girl and it is a nude lip liner. Um, I was really excited to pick this one up because I've been wanting to try the, the lip line that they released this summer. And I picked up an eyeliner as well because I think they were like buy one get one half off or something. So I picked up this lip liner and one eyeliner. Um, so very excited to get that. And then I picked up this Sephora Favorites kit. Um, I have been wanting to try several of these formulas. This formula for milk I already know that I really like. I have not tried anything from Pat McGrath yet. Ooh, let me autofocus this for you guys. Yeah. 
So I've been wanting to try um, the Pat McGrath formula, which I have not tried yet. I already know I really love this one. I wanted to try this NARS balm, and I wanted to try the Huda balm. So when I discovered that they had this set together and I could get them all in one, I went ahead and picked this one up during friends and family sale. I picked up one ColourPop uh, lip. This is the Tutti Fruity color, and I think that it is really, really pretty. It's like a vampy dark shade. I think I also have the shade Cherry Up. I may actually have two of those because I may have ordered one and picked one up from ColourPop because I'm dumb, um, but it is what it is. I have two of these Profusion Juicy Lip Tints, which I picked up at the same time that I did my Mean Girls video. Um, that's like one of the last things I filmed like on time before we started our pack to move. Um, so yeah, I picked these up and I've really been enjoying these. With my e.l.f. order, one of the other free items that I got was this Retro Paradise lip gloss, so that is another one to try. I picked this up when I was at Ulta. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX Pillow Balm. This is the banana shade. Um, it's got like some little yellow gold sparkles in it too, which I think is cool, and it's a really nice, comfortable lip product. I would really be curious to try the set of these that is coming out for Christmas time. Um, there's a watermelon one in there, which I think would be really cool to try. So definitely really happy I picked that up. When I was also doing my Sephora order, I picked up this Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumper in the shade Velvet. I already have the smooth, like clear gloss shade, but I wanted this one as well because it's this really pretty, like mauvey, pinky kind of color. So I picked this one up. Very excited to have two shades of this formula now. When I did my ColourPop order for the Y2K stuff that they sent me like all the wrong stuff, I had a goal of picking up two of these So Juicy glosses, which they did send these the correct ones that I had ordered. So I'm excited to give this formula a try. I've not tried this formula before, but then they also sent this to me by accident. <laughs> So I have not tried this formula either, so I'll definitely be looking forward to trying this formula as well. I did an order from Trixie Cosmetics for their um, Plant Gay collection, and I picked up all three of their glosses. Now if you guys saw my other Trixie Cosmetics video, you know that the other gloss that I tried was just like an abysmal fail. Um, so I'm really excited to have these three glosses because I'm hoping these three will serve me a little bit better. So we'll definitely be giving these a try. And then I picked up two of these literally yesterday. Like why I picked these up, I don't know, except for they were half price. And I think these are overpriced for what they are, but when they go half price, then I'm like, okay, I'll get these. Um, so I picked up papaya and mango. I already have, I think it's guava is the one that I already have. And I really enjoy the formula on these. They're just like a little squeezy tube. So very happy to have picked up two more of these. Then I think we're finally ready to get into eye stuff, so I'll talk about the non-eyeshadow palettes first, and then we'll dive right into shadow, I promise. They had a 30% off sale for Nabla products, and I went ahead and picked up the Vicious Mascara. Um, I picked up two eyeliners. I have the LA Girl Gel Eyeliner in Black, and I got the Lethal Cosmetics Side Effects gel liner and this is the white shade called buffer um, I wanted each of these to work with my other shades that I have which are like primary colors so that I can mix them to make them lighter or darker so very excited to have those I picked up the Nabla cereal liner one of my friends um, Emily hi Emily <laughs> Um, she was obsessed with this liner and said it was like one of her favorite liners she's ever used. So when I had my 30% off coupon, I went ahead and picked one of these up so I could try it and see what all the hype was about. And then this was the Ellie Girl Shockwave eyeliner that I picked up. It's like a minty shade. It was the only one that I was missing out of this, um, initial collection. Two brow products. I picked up the e.l.f. Bite Size Brow Palette, which I'm really excited to try. I love this like super dark cool tone shade. I think that's going to be perfect for my brows. And then I did also pick up one of these Kosas Air Brow Gels. I love the packaging where it's kind of like this like clear, crystal-y kind of looking product. And I think the actual product itself works pretty well. I was using this a lot um, after I had packed up most of my makeup for the move, I was using this as like my only brow product until we moved. So I got a good amount of use out of this so far and I have been enjoying it. Eye stuff, eye stuff, eye stuff. 
I did pick up another NYX pigment primer because I'm running low on the one that I currently have. So at least I have a backup. I found this at Marshalls. This is one of the Stila, um, but it's one of their matte products. I don't know if you guys have seen these. This one is like a matte gray shade, which I just thought was like such a cool, like cool gray that I thought would look nice with one of the palettes that I picked up recently. So I picked up that pretty awesome gray color from Stila. I also found two of her iridescent shades. These did not get a lot of hype whenever they were first released, but I think it was honestly because people didn't really understand what they were, and so people were like poo-pooing them because they didn't really get it. So now that there's like less of them around, now I think people are finally understanding what these are for, like as a topper, not as like an opaque shimmer. So those are the two shades that I got. This one is like a kind of berry purple color and then this one is like an aqua blue teal type shade so very very pretty excited to play with those when I picked up the Y2K collection from Colourpop I picked up all three of the super shocks that were included in that I have tried this one out these two I haven't tried yet but I'm so excited this one was the one I was most excited for this is Cami Crush it's the one that's like a pink to a green duochrome very excited to be playing with those and then I did pick up one of these Becca Light Gleams. I thought this like uh, like pukey green shade was really cool looking. And then this shimmer is like a duochrome with like a burgundy red base and like a gold to lime shimmer in it. I just thought the whole thing looked really pretty. I did wear this I think once or twice while I was on vacation. And I really liked how the color payoff was with this. So very happy to pick that up. I think it was like $7.99 at Marshalls. I made one sugar pill order during their like misfits sale and picked up a couple of these pigments that I had been eyeing. Um, they had a sale so they said the products you know could have maybe their labels were not on properly or you know something could look a little bit messed up about it um, but because of that they were going to be half price but the actual product inside was still guaranteed to be correct. So I was like alright well I don't care about a label and you'll see. Um, I made out like a bandit because my palettes look perfect and I got them for half price. So very happy with that. But I picked up these three shades. This is a black with like lots of sparkle in it called Stella. This one is like a brown with a lot of like red burgundy pigment in it. Oh yeah, you can see it there. That's pretty. This is called Trance. And then this one is like a purple and blue duochrome and it's called Mystic, which I picked up literally because Butte Bean did the most beautiful look with this pigment in one of the palettes I'll show you shortly. And I could not be more obsessed, so definitely pick those up to try them out. Oh my gosh, you guys. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. I'm not ready. Okay, let's talk palettes. So definitely happy to have this one. Um, like I said, I used it for my stepsister's wedding and I think the look that I got was really nice. I love the shimmers in here. There's no pressed glitters. Very happy with this purchase. I also picked up this little I Am Me Multi-Cube. This came from TJ Maxx. It was like $4. When I looked online, it looked like these were originally like 40 bucks or something, which I can't imagine is accurate because look, look, I mean, look how small these are compared to like a fingernail. They're so small. But this is like the cutest little palette and like this electric red blush. Um, but I thought this little like red, orange, mauve kind of shades, they looked really pretty. So I wanted to film a look using the smallest makeup in my collection. And this is going to be in that video, I think. Next, I picked up two of these palettes from the Y2K collection. I picked up the Just a Glitch and the Digital Playground. I played with Just a Glitch once, I think, so far, and I did really like the look that I got. It's very pastel, it's very, like, muted, but I thought the actual look was very pretty, and I can't wait to dig into this one a little bit more. And then I did also pick up from Sephora the Natasha Denona. This is the Mini Love. No, this is the Mini Retro. I'm sorry. Mini Retro. I made a palette like this originally um, out of my singles, and I didn't really use it a whole lot, so I thought I didn't need this one. But then I realized the singles that I used weren't quite the same as the shades here. So I really wanted to try this one, especially when the new like full-size retro got released. So picked this one up. Very excited to play with that. I 
I also have another Ofra palette which I picked up a while ago and haven't used yet because I haven't had time. I was moving and it's this one right here. It's what do they call this? The Signature Palette in Empowered. Um, Samantha March really got me into Ofra Cosmetics and I do really like their stuff but I haven't featured it on my channel recently because of like all the political stuff they're getting into but I did think that this shade was really pretty this like kind of grungy green gold highlighter shade so I picked this up I'm excited to play with it once I have a little bit more time I picked up the Cara Beauty Daydream palette this is like a green kind of army palette and I thought this one looked really pretty as well I love these mattes that they put in here and these two like golden green gold shimmers so definitely looking forward to giving this one a try uh, my aunt and I conspired to pick these palettes up the flare palette from it's bell cosmetics and this is what it looks like oh my god it's so pretty I used this shade already once I couldn't help myself um but then when she ordered it then they were like oh no you can only have one so they refunded her half the well they credited her account with the other half so that she can order her palette and she gave me the first one that they sent but like my goodness what a freaking pain in the butt that was that whole process so I hope she gets hers soon I was really excited to get mine and I can't wait to have it on my shelf of toppers so that I can kind of reach to it whenever I need the menagerie cosmetics and serenity palette I picked this up right before we were moving they did like a small restock and I was actually able to get it. can't believe how much freaking work this was to get this palette, but I'm really excited to play with it. I love this blue and this purple got me. This orange, gorgeous. This like iridescent blue shade. Oh my lanta. Oh boy, that's pretty. Yeah, I cannot wait to, to dig my grubby little fingers into this more and play with this one. I did pick up the larger Natasha Denona Retro. When I picked up the small mini, I got um, this one as well. I used this several times for work. I love this center shade is so pretty. It's like such a wet, shiny topper shade. I love this one. I love these cream to mattes. I, I don't mind that like cream to powder formula. I think this is like me in a palette. I wish she would have released this before the Love palette because I think if she had, I probably wouldn't have picked up Love. I would have picked up this one only. But now I have both. I can mix and match. So I'm very, very excited to have this palette in my life. And then I picked up a bunch of these Profusion palettes. These little $5 palettes are so affordable and they're such good quality. I picked up the Euphoria palette, which was actually mailed to me from Walmart.com. What a disaster because this shade came completely shattered. I asked them to send me a new one. They said, sure, no problem. Then I checked my bank account and they issued a refund. So I called them back and I'm like, what gives? I asked for a new one. You sent me a refund. And they were like, oh yeah, well, since you already got the refund, we can't send you a new one because it's already like closed. I'm like, yeah, but you didn't do what I asked you to do. So I'm not satisfied and they didn't care. So <laughs> that's Walmart for you. But I do think the actual shades of the palette are very pretty. I've used it a couple times. I do really enjoy it. I did press this one back with isopropyl alcohol, but I wish I didn't have to do that. I wish I had like a nice, nice one. And then I picked up a couple of more. I picked up the fuchsia, the violets. Actually, these I had from before, but I don't think I've ever actually gotten a chance to use them yet. And the sapphires. I don't exactly recall when I picked this up. I don't think I haven't used it yet, but I think it's been since we were packing to move. So I put it into the pile to share with you today. And then this Ruby's one I picked up just like a week or so ago. Oh, it still has the tape on it. I won't open it just yet. But I picked it up because I really love these like kind of burgundy red shimmers. I thought those looked so pretty and I love this super bright red here. So very excited to play with that. I made an order with um, Storybook Cosmetics. I was very interested in the Van Gogh palette and this originally I think is like $65 but they had it on sale. I think it was like $50 bucks. Um, and then at the same time they also had the Mean Girls palette on sale for $15 which was originally $55. So I went ahead and picked this one up 
and I picked up the other one and I am so excited. The orange in this one, I saw a look, oh gosh, who was it that I was watching that did a look with this one? Katie Marie, I think. She did a look with this palette, which was so, so pretty. So I cannot wait to do something very similar to what she did because that look was stunning. I'll just quickly show you the Mean Girls palette. Oh, Lord. I don't know if it's still available. They may have gotten rid of it, but this limey green caught my eye. This, like, sparkly black I really like. The pinks I really like. So I think I'll get some good use out of this one as well. Um, but ultimately what sealed the deal for me was that they discounted it to $15. Let's talk about these next. I got all three of the Odin's Eye palettes. Um, the collab that they did, Legendary Diversa. This is the Hummingbird palette with Tina from the Fancy Face. Oh gosh. And then I have Judy's Red Dragon palette. I originally was not going to pick this one up, but this green, this metallic here, this burgundy shade, they all like really called to me, so I had to. And I ended up emailing the company because I ordered the first two separately. And then I was like, oh, no, I have regrets. I just placed a huge order yesterday. Can I just add this one on? And they were kind enough to let me add it on. So really appreciated that. And then this one is Giant Wolves. This is the one that for sure I was going to get as soon as I saw the palette. So I was like, yes, this is coming home with me. Um, they each have one multi-chrome in them, which I think is pretty cool. And I cannot wait to play with these. So these are definitely going to like the top of the pile for stuff to play with. What else shall we talk about? We can talk about this one. This is Lethal is Dead. And this is the Lethal, Lethal Cosmetics Teresa is Dead collection. I was not going to buy this palette. I really wasn't. And then they stocked it one last time and Teresa posted and was like, hey, if you want it, this is the last time you're going to be able to get it because we're not stocking it anymore. And I kept seeing videos with this purple shade in here. And this purple is like this beautiful, like electric -y lilac color. It looked so pretty. I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to get it. Teresa is one of my favorite creators on the platform. So I did go ahead and pick it up and I'm really excited to play with it. I'm very happy with my purchase. So there's that. And then I picked up, let's see, I think I have more than one of these, yeah. I've been trying to complete my collection of these Revolution Pro palettes. They have so many of these, but I've picked up most of them. They're supposed to be similar to the Pat McGrath palettes. I'm not sure that they are truly similar to those palettes, but I do think they're a really nice formula in and of themselves. So I picked up the bronzed one. And then I also picked up the Nude on Nude, which is more of like a mauve kind of pinky toned palette. This actually is very similar to the Natasha Denona Retro palette, um, but I think these are really pretty shades and I can't wait to keep playing with these. So yesterday, no, two days ago, I was in Ulta and I was like just watching things for fun and I went and swatched this palette and I was like, I don't need this palette. Like I really don't. And then I swatched this shade right here, which is like this aqua teal iridescent topper type shade. And I was so obsessed with it. I was like, no, you don't need it. Like, don't worry about it. You'll have something very similar at home. So I swatched it and kept it on my hand until I got home. And when I got home, I realized I did not have anything like this. So I ended up over in that same plaza again yesterday and I fell for it. So <laughs> I picked this up yesterday. I hope you guys brought snacks. I got the Desert Lights palette. This is a Flower Beauty. They had an original palette like this in the same like collection, which was very, very soft and buttery. And that's exactly what these are like. They're like super shock shadows almost. They're very like creamy and rich, but I think they have such beautiful colors and beautiful payoff. I mean, like look at that. It's ridiculous. The shine. So I was so, so happy to see this one go in and it was actually on sale. So I went ahead and picked this one up. During 21 Days of Beauty, I did also pick up the Lorac Noir palette. Um, Makeup Just for Fun posted a video about this palette and I was really drawn to like this whole corner here. I just thought these shades were really pretty and when she swatched it, I was like, okay, I don't probably need it, but I really want it. And then when it went half price, I was like, you know what? 
let's go ahead and get it. So I did go ahead and pick it up and I was very happy with that. <gasps> Thank God, I'm not broken. So next up on my list, we'll talk about this one. I picked this up and have not gotten a chance to use it yet. This is the LA Girl Main Stage. I've swatched it like once or twice, um, but I left it in this pile of stuff to um, talk about because I haven't actually used it yet and I really, really want to. So um, that needs to go on my list of to-dos. I have this palette from Unicorn Cosmetics. This is their Angel palette. I originally was really interested in their Wicked palette, but then ultimately decided not to pick that one up. But when they sneak peeked this one, I really was attracted to like all these greens and pinks on the bottom here and kind of this cool toned periwinkle blue color at the top here. And I'm really happy I got this one. I definitely want to give it a try, you know, use it a couple times before I formulate an opinion, but I did do one look so far with it and I did really like it. I ended up picking up this dumb Morphe palette, 35C. This is that like romantic kind of shades because it was discounted like half price or something and then there was a coupon and I ended up getting it for like $6. So I was like for $6 I'll try this palette out and see if I like it. It's not bad. Um, I've only used it I think twice so far. This shade reminds me a lot of the shade from the Emily Noel palette that I really liked. Again, it's actually kind of similar to the um, Lethal Cosmetics palette, but a lot less pigmented. So um, Lethal definitely has a leg up there. But I did pick that one up to give it a try. And then I also picked up this Morphe and Ashley Strong palette. I don't know why, but I was so drawn into this palette. Like, this is not my typical color story by any stretch, but these kind of like dark green and blue shades here, these dark shimmers really called to me so I didn't really care about like this part of the palette but the rest of it really drew me in so I went ahead and picked that one up I'm still giving it a try I think I've only done like one look with that so far I really liked the look of this one when it first came out but I was like you don't need it and then it went down to nine dollars and I was already kind of just doing the most at all to one day and I was like okay for this blue shade I would pay nine dollars so I picked it up literally for the blue and it's so so pretty so pretty so I'm very happy to have this one I do really like this pink and the brown together too and these shades here I mean the whole palette is very nice so I've done a couple of looks with this one definitely been enjoying it and can't wait to do some more with it what else do we have so I picked up the elf new classics as well let me get it out of the packaging here this was like the main thing that I was ordering when I did that e.l.f. order. But I was so excited to pick this one up because I felt like it kind of gave me the like Natasha Denona Glam vibes with this like platinum shade here. But then you also had this really pretty like opulent shade, this mossy green shade. These all looked so pretty to me so I was like let me just get this one and give it a try. I do think those are very pretty shades. I'm looking forward to playing around with this one and see what kind of looks I can make. Well, let me talk about this. So, <laughs> during the friends and family sale from uh, Sephora, I did go ahead and pick up the glam and the bronze palettes. And the reason I did that is because they were 20% off because I got one of the friends and family coupons and I have been eyeing these for ages. But I was like, $65 is so, so expensive. So when they were 20% off, I was like, at least there's a good discount on them. They just looked so like delicious oh goodness yes so I cannot wait to play with these a little bit more you guys know warm tone neutrals are like not my thing but the bronze palette gets me because it's not just like warm toned neutrals but it's like these red warm tone neutrals so it's not like your typical warm tones I think it's this shade right here that really calls to me and it's like a red yeah, it's like a red with like a green in it. I don't even know if you're going to catch that. But it's such an interesting shade that I just oh, had to pick this one up. So, great. I already got fingerprints all over it. But I had to pick up the two midi palettes that I was looking at. So I'm very happy to have those. 
the Zoe Marie Cosmetics palette. This is one that I won in an Instagram giveaway. And I want to say her husband is like some basketball player or something. I'm not really sure. It does have a couple pressed glitters in it. So that's like already a minus for me. But the other shades in here really drew me in. This deep navy, the red. I love this aqua blue shade. You have this more denim -y blue, a nice black. So I've been using this here and there to try to like complete looks. So I'm going to continue to work on trying this one out and see what I think of it as I keep playing with it. And then these two palettes, oh my gosh, we're almost done, you guys. These two palettes, these are the Pro Profusion New Moon Rising palette, which looks like this. And then this one is Mercury Retrograde. So I'll show you each of these. So I picked this one up because it's this like cool toned pinky blue color story. I really am drawn to these like periwinkle blue kind of shades, which I mean, it's pretty pigmented. And then like this nice pinky shade here. And then I really liked the look of this like kind of purpley, dark purpley shade. You do have two pressed glitters, this one and this one, which I'm not a huge fan of as you guys know. But I thought everything else in the palette was really like attractive and it was only $10 at Walgreens. I think I had a coupon code or something to be able to um, get it a little bit cheaper, but that's what those look like. There's a little extra pigment there, but they do look pretty pretty pigmented and then the green one this so this just like screamed Halloween to me and I was so bummed because I packed this up really early and then realized I packed it and couldn't use it and I was like why why did I do that I was so dumb um, but I really liked the look of this like kind of blue shade this greeny shade you've got this dark green in here I mean these are just like pretty pretty shades and that's like a pretty solid lime so I am so excited to be playing with that one as well. Definitely going to be towards the top of my list. Oh my gosh. And then last but not least was the Sugar Pill palettes. So I've been looking at the black Sugar Pill since it came out for Halloween last year. And like I said, I picked it up from this Misfit sale. Why don't you come out? But the actual palette looks stunning. The inside, everything is perfect. It's just the stickers on the back are like slightly off center. I don't care about that in the least. Like that does not bother me at all. So I was so excited to pick this up for like a good discount. Oh my gosh, can you guys see that? Wow, wow, what a beautiful shade. Oh, I'm gonna have to use that like tomorrow. And then I did also pick up the anniversary palette because I wanted this one too. Again, you being you make me buy things. Um, but this one just had this like really pretty iridescent green shade in it that I was like all about that. That's pretty. I don't even know if you can see it on me because I'm so like ghostly pale. But this looks so, so pretty. And again, I think it's just because the labels are off center. I don't really care about that at all. I'm not even sure the ones that I bought full price were on center. So whatever. All right, you guys. <laughs> I turned off the camera, I turned off my lights, I started packing everything up and realized I forgot an entire pile of palettes. Lord help us all. So I have just a handful more and then we're done for real. I picked up one of the Makeup by Mario quads during the Sephora um, friends and family sale. I saw this one and I just thought it looked so, so cute. I really love the combination of the blue, the silver, and then this kind of like tarnished gold color. So I picked that up. It was on sale for $15, and then I got 20% off of that. So it made it like 12 bucks, and I was definitely happy to pay 12 bucks to try out Mario's formula. I did also pick up the Wild Jaguar palette. Jaguar, Jaguar, I don't know. I know people say the name of the car brand kind of crazy but I picked this one up to like capture the not really because my lights in the way that's all right so that's what this looks like I think it looks so so pretty I love this shade in the center these kind of like grungy almost olive based browns I thought looked really pretty and silvers so very happy to have this one oh this is actually a blush palette Oh, I have it in with this, whatever. So this is actually a blush palette, which I picked up with the Plant Gate collection. This is the 
only blush palette I was missing from Trixie Cosmetics. It's their orange one. So I picked that up. That's the Mod About You face palette. And then I picked up the Plant Gay palette, which I thought was such a cute concept. This way. This green called Totally. So, so cute. These two, like, they're like environmental biodegradable glitters. I'm not a huge fan of the texture of those, but the rest of these shades are all very, very pretty. I'm really enjoying playing with this one. I played with it like three or four times before I had to move. Then when I was at Marshall's, I did find the ABH Subculture Palette and remarkably untouched. So I went ahead and picked this one up. I have no idea if it's like the new formula, the old formula, whatever. But I always wanted to try it and when I found it there, I was like, this is a sign that I should be trying this palette. So I went ahead and picked it up. It's got a lot of fun mattes in it and I cannot wait to give this one a try as well. Get this little plastic out of the way. And then you guys, I'm a clown. Do you remember when I said I didn't like this? Do you remember when I said I returned this because it was hot water trash? I was stocking the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty for this shade right here to be sold in a single at half price. And it was one of two shades that was out of stock before the sale started. And I was like, they're going to have to restock it, right? 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 No, they never restocked it. So I was really pissed off about that. So I still wanted this one. This palette is originally almost 50 bucks. It went on sale for half price and then I found a $15% 15 off coupon which brought this down shipped to me to about $22 which is the price of this shade in a single. So I was like I can either buy this in a single or I can just buy the whole palette again and occasionally use the rest of the palette. So I bought the whole palette. Goodness. Goodness. And then I did pick up the Beauty Bay Wilderness palette. Actually, my aunt picked it up for me. So thank you so much, Tia, um, for picking this up. And I think she's going to be starting to do some content again. I know she's doing TikTok stuff, but I think she might be doing some YouTube stuff. So I'm super excited for that. I love these shimmers that they put in here. This shimmer, this. Oh my gosh, this shimmer looks like it's out of its world. So I cannot wait to play with this one some more and do some really like bright, colorful looks. I've seen people compare this to the um, Melt Muerte and Amor Eterno, like the whole Amor Eterno collection, Vita and Muerte. So it's kind of cool that they have this similar color story. I cannot wait to play with this some more. I only did like one look with that while I was on vacation. And I picked up the Blend Bunny Surge palette. This is the first palette I've picked up from Blend Bunny and I am so, so excited to have this one as well. The Shimmer formula in these looks very similar to like the Glam Light formula. So if that's a formula that you like, you may really like this. I love this Neons row. I was on the hunt for a set of Neons that wasn't gonna be super expensive. And then when I saw this palette, I was like, you know what, this has neons, it has dark mattes, it's got shimmers, it's got everything that I would need. So I went ahead and picked it up and I could not be happier. Cannot wait to try that one. The Beauty Bay palette that I picked up was the Nikki Tutorials palette. There's a lot of like conflicting information on whether or not this is a good palette or not. I wanted to try it for myself. I love the Beauty Bay formula, the Wilderness palette, and um, what's the other one? The Book of Magic I tried and I really, really loved. Now I've got the opulence on its way to me. So I wanted to try this one out too. I have tried it, I think, twice. And I did really like the looks that I came up with. So, so far, I'm not disappointed in this one. And then last, but certainly not least. This is the Nomad Haunted Europe palette. Do you guys see that transition? I love it. I think it's so cool. Um, I was so excited. I talked to the owners of this brand occasionally and I mentioned to them that I was going to be moving. So when I placed my order for this palette, um, they actually like expedited the shipping for me to make sure that I got it before I moved, which was so awesome. I have not touched any of this yet because I want to take some pictures of it before I touch it because these embossings are so, so cool. Like, oh my gosh. I would be so proud if I was the one that created this palette. So very excited to play with this one as well. All right, now we've gotten to the end. We've come to the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in a comment if there's anything that you want me to film with so that you can see the quality of it and help determine whether or not it's a good purchase for you. I'd be happy to do so. Thank you again for watching this incredibly long video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!